made it into Georgia. Alrighty, so it is just about 11 in the morning. Peter will keep his eyes on the road. <laughs> we left about 8 o'clock. Yeah, we left around 8. Um, we are headed back to Chicago. Unfortunately, we have to share the sad news with all of you that my grandmother passed away. Um, I mean, you guys had known that um, the last time that we were in, there were some things going on and that she was in the rehab center. And, um, so yeah, my grandma lived like a super, like one of the fullest lives I've ever I've never met known. somebody who's lived a fuller life. And I'm yeah. Not even right about I've only read about a few other people that have lived as full of life too. Right. And not only so full, but also like worked so hard and had such a big family. So like when you see all of those people at our family party, it's all it's grandma cookies. All grandma cookies. She would always say like, isn't it great that I'm just responsible for all of this? Um, but as a full life, you know, that also comes a lot of sadness for the people who will miss her and um, I've basically been dreading this my entire life. So we are driving straight through. We just basically want to get there as soon as we can and be safe while doing it. So we got good sleep last night. We'll get there pretty early. Got some good healthy snacks. Mine is this big pop. <laughs> We're gonna get there in the hours of Saturday. And, uh, yeah. Here's a road trip vlog. First gas stop after leaving Georgia, or we're in Georgia since leaving Chicago, or I'm all over the place since leaving Florida. So, two main reasons why we decided to drive rather than fly, and it's one because airline, it being such last minute, the airline tickets were outrageous. I looked yesterday for flying today, they were $500 per person one way. Not only that, um, Sarah's actually going to stay. She's going to stay in Chicago for like 17 days because by the time we go, we found out the services are Monday and Tuesday. By the time we go to the services, leave to drive back because I need to be back at work uh, towards the end of the second half of next week. She was going to be flying, already planned, scheduled to fly to Chicago next Thursday anyway. So why? We're like, why? What's the point? in her coming back for literally a day just to fly back up north, so I'm... Boo! Sarah's back. Um, is there any good snacks in there? Yeah. What should we get? Mm. I have to run in and go to the it's bathroom. It's cold in this car! It's cold outside too. It's 58 degrees outside, and it was 83 when we left <laughs> Orlando. It's 30 in Chicago, so. It's snowing in Chicago. We're in for a rude. I'm super nervous about it, because we're like much more acclimated to Florida climate now. From like our last winter trip for sure. Yeah. Um, there's some boiled peanuts in there. Not getting those. Um, just your normal chips and junk. Okay. But Sarah's staying, and oh, long story short, $500 per person one way, let alone the returning flights, and we filled up for $30 in, the, in our hybrid. We have a Ford Fusion, it's a hybrid. We filled up the whole tank, 30 bucks, completely emptied, completely full, in Orlando, got all the way, we're like 20 minutes south of Atlanta, so good gas mileage. Filled up just now another 30 bucks on the dot. Yeah. Um, because it's like 30 more cents expensive here in the middle of nowhere, Georgia, than it was in Orlando for some reason. So we'll see how close we can get. We'll at least get hopefully halfway through Illinois with this tank. So we might be spending less than like 75 bucks in gas to get from Orlando. Let alone a thousand dollars. Let alone a thousand dollars to get Did you for both of us. Say how long I'm going to be in Chicago yet? 17 days, over 17 days? Yeah. 17 days. So that's another reason why I wanted to drive because we have all the luggage that we're gonna keep here. And I'm, we actually brought most of the stuff that I'm gonna need when I come back up for Thanksgiving. So then when I fly for Thanksgiving, I can just bring my backpack. Yeah, because we'll be flying Southwest home, which like each person gets two check bags, but I think you're flying like United there. there. Longest um. shot ever. <laughs> it's hard to tell. But there are cars all the way up there for at least like, I think the map showed like something like six miles. We've, like. we've literally moved about three blocks hmm. in the past 30 minutes. 
So it started off with the lane being closed on I-24. And now I think the lane is still closed. It's supposed to open it back up at six, that, that one closed lane, but now there's the app is reporting an accident as well up there. We put on Chris's music to kind of have us enjoyably sing all that, but I mean, we were talking about this earlier. It's strange for a lot of people that aren't from America when we talk about like us traveling back to Chicago because like we got up this morning in Florida, left at 8 a.m. and like, all right, we're gonna go drive 20 hours. Mm. You know, 1,200 miles? In one direction, really, yeah. 12 or 1400 miles, something like that, from Orlando to Chicago in one direction. So, like, put a comment down below where you're from and if that is just literally impossible. Because I don't even or know how long. Or put down below, like, your longest drive. Your longest drive, yeah. Because we, our longest drive is Chicago to LA. Yeah, Texas. we did that, which we did in nine days We're of like moving. 12 hours. But we also drove. We're moving highway. about. Looks that like we're moving like move. 200 feet. So, this is a good one. I should just keep the camera on. Maybe we'll keep moving. So uh, There's now it looks like we're gonna get to Chicago at like 2 a.m. rather than 1 a.m. But we'll know for sure yeah. once we get after this, past this mess. And really once we get into Illinois too, because once it gets like past- Illinois is just flat and yeah. land, and we can just cruise straight north. Yeah. Once no we get in- no nothing to yeah. worry people. Uh, status update, it's been an <laughs> hour and 10 minutes since we last pulled the camera out, and we've traveled like a half mile. No, more than that. No, more than a mile. That whole curve is more than a mile. So, like, you dip from, like, Tennessee back into Georgia, and we're almost back into Georgia mm. on 24. But we have not Also, moved. don't mind my, like, toe <laughs> footprints. It's so nasty. But we haven't moved. In a while. We've been in park for at least 20 minutes. It's okay. We're getting there. We're being safe. But we're watching Coldplay music videos, because why not? And like old so you think you could dance. Yeah, dance old so you could dance with Twitch and Travis Wall and All our friends. All our friends. Okay, we move just... over, move over. There it is. We might be free now. Holy ravioli. Almost over an hour and a half. I wanna say that was like five o'clock when we started hitting that. Uh -huh. it was light out. It was light out. I think it was five it was five at latest, five twenty, so it's at least been an hour and forty minutes of us traveling like of us traveling it's like five miles Really, tops. really slow, yeah. We only we were, traveled Yeah, we miles. were parked a lot. Um, but now we're cruising, I think. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it stays that way and that Nashville's good because it's it's now, it's hopefully now it's Seven, past On a Friday though. Right, but hopefully the- And Nashville is a party town. Oh, you don't know that. You just hear the stories. Oh, man, right. It's a wonderful story. Keep your fingers crossed, please. What's that from? It's a wonderful story. It's from a movie called Rowanish. Have you Put ever seen below. that movie? Let us know because it's actually it, one of like our you Thanksgiving in the movies. Yeah. Have seen it. Rowanish. We're passing Nashville. There's the Batman building over there. 7:45. Central time. Central time. We should arrive by. It two, should two be three. like six and a half more hours. Yeah, two two thirty in the morning. We'll be there. So it is our last stop for gas before we get there. We're right, right before Illinois. Yeah, right before Illinois. 9.15. It's 34 degrees outside. It's 50 we haven't degrees. We, we haven't been outside in a long time. Since since, since, since like before the middle Atlanta. Of Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. It was so it was sixty in Georgia, which were like freezing at sixty degrees. I can we feel the not, window. It's it wasn't freezing, but it was cold. But we haven't like stepped outside. So and we got shorts on. Well I don't, but I just have I'm about to put my hoodie on. I got sandals. But it is fifty degrees. I'm gonna put my hoodie on too. <laughs> it is fifty it's okay, so technically it's forty nine degrees colder right now than what it was when we woke up and left. One eternity later. Ho 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 two thirty five. <laughs> we got the nineteen nineteen degrees. We're a little chilly getting our our tiny last little bit of gas. I put I put in uh, sweatpants. sweatpants and it's technically 335 the time we woke up yeah so we have 30 minutes 30 minutes filled up some gas we got this we got it we did a live stream two different live streams just to, to keep, keep us, us awake, awake. they literally everybody who's joined us thank saved you because us. that saved us because we were gonna pull the parking lot and sleep for a couple hours i was like three hours how on earth are we gonna do this um but that was really nice so We'll Thanks. see you when we get there. We used to walk around those corners. We're taking our 
usual route from, well, our old apartment, really. The last apartment this is. Oh. What? The big Mustang. Oh, this is our high school. Don't let that front facade phase you. We only use the first two floors. Evergreen Pantry? What the heck is that? That used to be a white hen, then it turned into a 7-Eleven. Now it's a Evergreen Pantry. All right, we just pulled in. We're not used to that residential life again. <laughs> Curb. Looking for curbs and whatnot. Yeah. Well, we're here. We don't well, want to sign off inside. Yeah, we we're literally just going to grab a couple of things. We're and... literally grabbing like our pillow, our computer, and going in and crashing on the couches. Yeah. It's good to be home. It is good to be home. We made it safe. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>